Alright Warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. Hold it. Warriors, what we're doing is fine tuning ourselves so that we can catch ourselves when you start feeling the suspitos, when a, when a uh, narcissist has your back against the corner needing you to make a decision right there now. Then understand your decision is always no. Anytime you feel like you're being pressured, your answer is always no. You, and, and look, no one needs an explanation. In fact, you find an exit more quicker with a, I'll get back with you later. Well, your narcissists are going to gaslight the piss out of you. We're going to go over some of the tricks that, that covert narcissists use and malignant. You see, it's not the overt I'm so concerned about because they'll flat tell you what they're up to and why it's going to be a good idea for you to participate or why it's a good idea for you to just give them what it is that they're seeking. Where a covert and a malignant strategizes a way to move the goalpost and convince you it was your idea to give them something arbitrarily, it's never good for you. You're the uh, scapegoat in many of these setups mainly because it's your position they want not something you have see the overt narcissist oh they're ambitious they're successful it's why they don't need to ruin your reputation to get what they want they just find a way that it'll benefit you but benefit them even more sociopaths psychopaths are the same way but let me tell you the malignant and the covert have no skill sets they have weak ass ambitions they got a lot of lead in their ass it fell and crushed their ankles they got no get up and go but boy can they give directions let's take five seconds man let's do this breathing exercise let's take a badass walk on the beach talk about some of the weird habits narcissists have five seconds man come on Really slowly. <laughs> All right. Shake that shit off, y'all. Look, narcissists have subtle ways, and I'm sure you've heard them, and it kind of threw you off a little bit, confused you. Uh, when they say something like, I don't know what you're talking about. And you just finished talking about it. Or they'll say, oh, you're just making that up. I never said that. You're just confused. You see, warriors, what happens is they never really give you all the information. And since they're making it up as they move along, because all they have to do is listen to your solutions and keep moving that goalpost. They'll create a reason why your solution is just, no, nope, no, nope, that, that won't work either. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we, we tried that just the other day. Now... <laughs> They're so obsessed. Narcissists are, are, are so obsessed about the reputation that this is one of their covert habits. They'll exaggerate, not a little, quite a bit, about how much they make, how much work they do, or how someone else done something so wrong. They're so necessary because they just don't understand how y'all can wipe your own asses without them. The manipulation is also going after indirectly what it is they want. Like I said, they want to manipulate you into giving it to you and acting like, oh, you're such a good person for it. And look, they're not genuinely interested in anyone but themselves. They're self-serving. Narcissists may do things that act like they're interested, act like they want to solve your problem. Problems. Uh, you see, what they like is consistency. It's empathy on the draw. And it's why you're able to see them transition, shape shift immediately from, oh my goodness, I'll pray for you. Now, are you going to be able to work this weekend or not? Warriors, they genuinely don't give a shit. And so, Anytime you hear of their achievements, their successes, and it 
has nothing to do with yours, has nothing to do with anything that would build you up. They have a, a, a way of making that conversations go full circle to them. You see, warriors, if it's not about themselves, they want out. They don't want nothing to do with that conversations. And you can tell them. What, would you think the world revolves around you? And they're going to look at you like you finally get it. You finally get it. Warriors, big mistakes that we need to pay attention to, big mistakes that we don't need to throw a blind eye toward. Let's go over some. It just so happens these are narc habits. It sounds like it's a dating game, dating mistakes game. You can find these on Amazon. Matter of fact, the box is red, the whole thing. You just type it in. Big mistakes, a dating game. And boop, get the ginormous one deluxe that has the most discards, like over 500. Tells small lies even when they don't have to. Ain't that the damn truth? Just because. I guess to stay in practice, still a member of a cult. And if you hang around long enough, I'm sure they got a pyramid scheme for you. Make quick money. Let me introduce you to a business idea. In a zombie apocalypse, they would be a zombie rights activist. Routinely forgets to lock the front door. Probably because they ain't got shit to lose or they didn't earn what's in there. They're couch surfers, freeloaders, sexuals. Just because they've cheated in their last four relationships doesn't mean they'll do it again. With the same ones. Again. Oh, they don't count because they're now BFFs. Ruh -ruh. Pay attention. Can't help but cry while watching romantic movies, cutting onions, and masturbating. <laughs> Damn it. Once they clean up the shame, it'll be over in five minutes. Can't remember people's names and just uses pet names. Hey, Schnookums. What's up, Pookie Ray Ray? Their mom still does their laundry. I bet she wouldn't if she had to do it on the river. Slapping it against a damn rock. Always forgets to lift the seat when they pee. Has road rage issues. And excessively compliments. I love your dress. Look at those shoes. Oh my gosh, that bag, that car. <laughs> Lawyers. Let's check it out, man. Love box cookie fortress. Oh, look at this. Your fortress is make the best of it. Own it today. Because a cookie is a new cookie. Feel me? Ain't no paper. No paper to read. None. So I'm going to tell you shake the dirt off your ass. Own it. You ain't nobody's bitch today. Narcissist weird habits. You're already well aware of them. They gaslight you. They're obsessed with their reputation. And guess what? They genuinely don't give a shit about you. Reverse narcology means don't believe a word they say. Don't validate their presence or their achievements, or even act like you noticed them there. And another thing is, if they genuinely don't give a shit about you, then really, gray rock is the best medicine. Only share in the work environment what is necessary to get the job done. No personal talk. No after work get togethers. No, you can lean on me. If it has nothing to do with work, you don't entertain it. You're too busy. Because remember something, you're there for a return on investment. 
and every damn one of you are replaceable. The reprobate mind, the narcissist, is trying to set you up for the layoff. You better work like your job depends on it. Because it does. It's the narcissist trying to get others to make them look good. Stop elevating incompetence. Back up and let it reveal itself on its own. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. We want the best with you ever lost. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap of faith. Leap of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling we're at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know your TI will have your All back. Right. What right. made you want to skydive? What what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on sword fight, uh, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us. It's got oh, up Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride, wasn't it Hey awesome? man, glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.